What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Modern Warfare 2 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a crazy cast off 762 gameplay with the best cast off 762 class setup. If you haven't enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys give it a like, subscribe, the notifications turned on. With that being said, let's get into this. All right, so after this here, we of course have the cast off 762. We have the Basilisk or pretty much the dual wield snake shots as my secondary. We have the tactical stem shot, the Semtex as my lethal. And then the perk package, we have double time scavenger, fast hands, and quick fix. This is a great setup. This is pretty much my go-to on all my classes which it pretty much does not change then we have my field upgrades of either the munition box or the ddos the ddos is pretty good if you're trying to rank up your guns get a little extra score in that way uh, but otherwise munitions box is pretty much what i go for now hopping into our first attachment here for the cast off 762 we have the castovia dx90 this is gonna give us sound suppression bullet velocity recoil smoothness and of course recoil control this is just a really great suppressor to have on this gun and i definitely recommend this uh, it does absolute wonders for just kind of keeping this thing very quiet and of course helping out your overall recoil tune on the suppressor goes as follows we happen to have this maxed out for ads speed and aiming idle stability because that's what we really care about next up in the barrel section we got the ig k 3406 millimeter barrel this gives us an increase in recoil control and bullet velocity this will kind of you know hinder some of your overall you know movement speed ads speed but we're not really too concerned about that just because we're trying to make this gun a little bit more effective that medium to longest range here in public match multiplayer tuning on this here is for max out for recoil steadiness and ads speed just to kind of speed us up a little bit we're not too concerned about the damage range as it's incredibly far as is and i don't really believe it to be that big of a thing for us to be able to max out the damage range as opposed to going for a little bit more ads speed rather be a tad bit more agile now in the underbrail section we're running the fss shark fin 90 here this is a great underbrail for those of you guys that don't want to slow yourselves down it's got no cons so you're not going to like slow yourself down with any of those cons this is kind of like almost like a bit of an anomaly here for modern warfare 2 attachments seems like a lot of them always end up slowing you down which is pretty crappy and i don't like that but this is a great underbarrel tune on this thing here is going to be straight up for ads speed and of course aiming idle stability we're not as concerned with aim walking speed as pretty much not a lot of guns in this game are going to be super heavy and aim walking speed without really really messing them up so this is just going to be a great way to build this thing next up in the rear grip section we got the true tack grip here for that sprint to fire speed and ads speed got to speed this gun up a little bit here you know what i'm saying so we run the true tack grip and this overall has just worked out great for me anytime you know i happen to run this tune on this here is going to be for ads speed and sprint to fire speed just straight max those things out just to make us as agile as possible and then lastly in the optic section we're in the cronin mini pro uh this is going to be like pretty much the blue dot red dot site you have to unlock or you have to level up the expedite shotgun so about level seven in order to be able to unlock this site so if you're those guys that aren't using your shotguns definitely go do that so you can get you know the Corona mini pro as this is the blue dot site in this game and it's super super good and i absolutely love it the tune on this here is just going to be straight up for ads speed and otherwise we don't really mess the bottom one as that's not really too beneficial or really even needed this is my full build here for the cast off hope you guys enjoyed today's gameplay and crazy one with non-lethal kill streaks exclusively so all gun kills i was demolished demolishing the lobby dude this setup is like super super lethal oh my god i'm telling you it's ridiculous how fast this cast off takes people out i know i heard somebody else back here hey man what are we doing All right, let's get this counter going. Teammates, we can totally get this, right? Well, at least I'm gonna get this reload in. Oh, hey. How about not? We get this ammunition box going here. Damn, dude, I just really got... Oh, I just got taken out pretty fast. All right, let's get... We'll just have to get it back going again. Pretty simple, pretty slight work. Hostile gunship? Ain't no way. Bro, what? Someone has five kills. Is that a care? What type of care package was that? The greatest care package of all time? Changing mags. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. I'm telling you, man. If you're a terrible player, you run a care package. Hey, it might just give you the best tricks in the game. 
I'm not gonna lie, I forgot there's a gunship still going. Ain't getting like no kills lit. Get the counter out. Damn, I couldn't... Man, if I would have been able to stay alive right there, that probably would have been the advanced. Hey, there's a fourth end. I, I had committed to the reload, so you know you got to do it in this game. Alright, counter. Got that guy. Should be able to combine him a little bit. Love to see it. Alright. Dude, I just got pistol deleted. I got pistol whipped. Hey, ain't that something. In advance, I still die. Sometimes the TTK is just so fast in this game that... It doesn't even matter if you got an advance. They can still take you out. That's a very bad, like, engagement spot to be, though. Where I just was. It was terrible. However, what I'm just doing right now? Oh, I'm putting on a clinic. That pistol kid may end up being the bane of my existence. I'm dropping a nuke this game. Hell no. Hello, what's behind you? Use that radar. It's right there for a reason. I got an advance going. Lo love that nice little flank right there for me. Is that a drill charge? All right, uh, I'm gonna throw that in. All right, so we at least when we've had an advance, now we still got another advance. We'll just call this in because I don't know what BS is going on. Oh man, it's at an SPR. All right, we got that kid. Is he AFK over here? Yeah, but see, there's no one someone standing mid map like that. I was hoping if he's near a car, I'd get him, but I think he just got taken out kind of anyways. Hmm. Can they spawn back here? Oh, they are. Yeah, that's actually wild. Wait, my teammate's got a sentry right here. Hey, please keep him spawning back here. I spoke too soon. I really spoke too soon, didn't I? Ain't that some? All right. Throw our UAV back up. We're going up. We've been going off this game though. We've been actually, actually like destroying. So I'm like, I'm not too upset. But of course, we love getting nukes. I.
All right, there should be still somebody else over here. Yeah. Okay, as I say, I don't know where he ended up going. Somewhere around here. Solid oh. Work. <laughs> right, I think I right there. 83, though. 83 kills, non-lethals. I mean, we should have definitely dropped a nuke, but it seems to be a reoccurring thing when I'm trying to get these videos done, man. I'd be almost dropping a nuke every time.